fuck is up? It's Reed back out in the wild here doing another gorilla content video for the uh, homies over at Nerd Sense. What up, Sean? What up, Mike? Um, today I'm covering a beer that has become one of my favorite collaborations. It's an annual collab um, pretty much every late spring, early summer. Evil Twin and Trillium come together to do a nautical theme. Check out the shirt. Um, I was a former sailor. Very nautical already right off the bat. Um, previously, they've done a uh, Hazy Blonde. It was the first one that they did together, which was Trilokini, right? Um, that one was at 3.3%, Crush City. Um, the next one they did was Board Shorts, which was an IPA, I believe. Um, that one was around 6.6%. Um, last year they did Wetsuit, which was 9.9% ABV. You notice the trend here, right? So this year we've got a quadruple IPA. Sorry, the uh, yeah, the triple was 9.9%. So this year we've got the quadruple IPA. Um, and that is Personal Submarine. Clocking in at 13%. Goddamn. Um, so they've definitely followed the trend of up in the ante every year. I don't know if that was on purpose when they first uh, underwent this. I know that that Trilokini was Trillium's first canned beer, actually. They were doing bottles previously way back in the day. Um, so really cool that they've kind of maintained this this trend. Um, I like trends, and that, that has definitely followed suit. So also with the trends is they've they've constantly done this uh, <clears throat> Amarillo Citra, Citra Mosaic uh, Hot Bill, right? Um, this year it's listed as Mosaic Amarillo and Citra. Um, I tend to follow the uh, logic of ingredients listings on food and the nutritional facts where it's like whatever hop is listed first has the highest hopping, uh, you know, volume or rate, uh, but who knows. Uh, previous iterations did have Columbus as a base hop. Um, they've kind of gotten away from that. And uh, again, this year it's just Mosaic, Amarillo, and Citra. So expect it to be way juicier, um, way more citrus and fruit. A um, little, little bit of berry medley from the Mosaic. So like that, but the Amarillo and Citra can bring out that citrus and tropical fruit uh, vibe going on. Which is perfect for a nautical themed beer. Um, personal submarine, great looking can. A little dude there riding this little personal submarine. I don't know anybody who has a personal submarine, but I'm sure someone out there does. You know, the people that hate Trillium are, are assuming that Esther and JC are rolling around in their own personal submarines because everyone thinks they're a bunch of rich assholes, but whatever. Um, for this video, I am smoking a EMH Cro Mag Don Bosco uh, from the homies over at Roma Craft. What up, Michael Rosales and Skip Martin? bad motherfuckers. Check them out on Instagram, Twitter, whatever the fuck. Go out and buy their cigars. Beautiful Candela and a Connecticut Broadleaf barber pulling going on there. Nice little contrast and I'm a man of contrast. Being a halfie, you know, tiny pud, terrible credit score. The worst of both worlds, but this is the best of both worlds. And speaking of best of both worlds, truly I'm an evil twin. So, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy and see what we're working with here. God damn when you look at that shit. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So another cool thing that's different about this year's collab, annual collab with Evil Twin and, uh, and Trillium for their nautical theme series is they went with uh, flaked oats in this bad boy. Now, there's a lot of talk in uh, the brewing world um, where as an adjunct in the grist, flaked oats do they provide a different mouthfeel or don't they? Um, there's a great article on Homebrewers Association. I'll get Sean uh, over at NerdSense to post that link because I think it's a it's a pretty important reading for anybody who cares about beer enough to watch a fucking beer tube review um, to check it out. Um, me personally, I always I always kind of reach for those New England IPA uh, style beers that have flaked oak as an adjunct. Traditionally, it's used in porters and stuff, but I really reach for it in this style here because. 
it, it lends this mouthfeel and this extra layer of fluffiness to it and um, makes them a little more crushable. Um, the appearance is always a little cleaner as far as I'm concerned. Um, and it's just, it's in the, in the format of like a big juicy IPA, the oats are really welcome. I always kind of uh, liken the adjunct of flaked oats to a viscosity almost. And um, I've had numerous, I've cracked numerous cans of this bad boy before previously and um it's it's definitely done that justice so enough about that behold in all its glory personal fucking submarine oh by the way this was canned uh june 28th of this year so generally they they do that around like i said late spring early summer um i think that's been the trend it's usually around my birthday somewhere june 17th you know send some swag or whatever the fuck you know cigars come on um, so let's go ahead and get a nose on this. And before I even get into the nose, like the second I cracked this can, it was just I'm not I'm not in Massachusetts right now. I'm I'm somewhere like I don't know, Belize or something, like eating tropical fruit off the beach, you know. Um it it's the second you crack the can, it just shoots this aroma at you and it's boy. So let's get in uh for a little more detail. Hmm. Yeah, so like I said, when I crack the can, very aggressive up front with the tropical fruit notes for sure. Um, me suspecting this is more mosaic forward than the Amarillo and Citra. Um, definitely getting some of that berry medley that I often will attribute with mosaic. Um, not just blueberry, um, you know, the tanniny, you know, bit of like blueberry skin and stuff like that, but. You know, there's some like this weird raspberry, strawberry quality there too. Um, it's it's not really it's not really big in this. We're getting more of the you know tropical fruit characteristics that you can get with mosaic, and a little bit of the candy fruit um, characteristics that you can get with mosaic more than the the berry medley, but it's certainly there. So if you like it, it's there. If you hate it, it's not super prominent. Don't be afraid. Crack this bad boy for sure. Yeah, um, big citrus notes too. Huge citrus notes in this one with the tropical fruit and the, the berry medley that I talked about earlier. Um, loads and loads of citrus. Not so much lemon or lime, but more of a orange, tangerine, mandarin kind of thing going on there, um, which you come to expect with the mosaic, amarillo, and citra, you know, those being the, uh, the folks that are present in the hot bill. Um, yeah, nothing unexpected. Um, good amount of alcohol on the nose, too, which uh, I'm not sure I'd noticed previously when I've had this. Could be a result of having this a little warmer than I've typically had it. Um, but it's definitely letting you know that it's it's come to party. Okay. Fucking Animal House. Okay, this, is, this, isn't, this isn't PAX TV here. So, all right. I think I'm ready to take a whack at this one. Salut. Oof. Damn. So as I said, I'm drinking this probably around 48, 45 to 48 degrees, which is the first interaction I had with this beer was I got home, I cracked the can, it would have been in my bag for about an hour and a half, um, it was north of 50 easily, and it was boozy, boozy, um, and there was a good amount of... Uh, not a, not a great amount of hot burn, but the, the hot burn was there, you know. Trillium's got the rub of uh, kind of releasing beers a little on the grain side. Um, I generally like that uh, because that means it just, it'll it'll stick around in the fridge a lot more. But the rate at which they release beers and uh, drinking other stuff, Sean's always hooking me up with some something or another from God knows where. Um, I like that I can, over the course of a few weeks uh, and a couple of months now, you know, just kind of revisit this and see what the fuck's going on. Full disclosure, I had uh, a can of this about two hours ago, and it was, you know, around 40 degrees, 42, 43 degrees, whatever. I crushed it super quick. And uh, as a result, I'm, I'm a little boozy, but the booze is the, the first thing that, that greets you with this when you're drinking it at this temperature. 
Um, definitely have it chilled and allow it to warm up and blossom as you as you go for sure. The second biggest thing that's that's hitting me is that mouth feel. Now, as I talked about earlier, people like to pretend that the flaked oats or any type of oats malted flakes or uh, flaked oats are unmalted. Um, lend a certain mouth feel to it and they, they, they like to kind of ignore that that's a, a factor and as I said the Home Brewers Association uh, experiment that was done contradicts that where they were able to see there really wasn't a noticeable delta between uh, oats and no oats same New England IPA recipe but this one I'm definitely getting that fluffy mouth feel and a little bit of that viscosity it's 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 weird I don't have a better word for it I gotta figure one out I'm, I'm not an English lit major, so, but for sure, the oats are definitely doing something for this. Why I'm confident saying that, um, this is Trillium's second quadruple IPA. Their first being um, earlier this year was plane over car over train over bridge. Um, their first quadruple IPA, different uh, different hot bill and different grist. More noticeably, the the Pilsner was the base malt in that grist as well. Um, but there was no flake dose whatsoever, and they had dextrose in that. And I gotta say, the oats are really doing a lot more for this, and the lack of dextrose is important here too. It's critical uh, because dextrose is it's high sugar, it's corn sugar. Um, the yeast eats it up, and it it kind of lends to a more dry finish for you know beer styles that it uses as an adjunct, uh, particularly the higher gravity stuff. It just, the yeast just eats through it, and it it it, it gives it a more dry. Um, you know, palate. Uh, this is, it's staying pretty juicy all the way through. Third, obviously, is the elephant in the room. Uh, Trillium, you know, bragged pretty heavily in the description about how aggressive their hop rate was for this, uh, for this collab here. And it shows there's a ton going on here. I'm getting pretty much everything off the nose, but it's kind of more variance. You know, I was pretty you know, citrus, tropical fruit, a little bit of the blueberry medley, the berry medley, uh, but now we're getting more specifics. Um, the thing that's really jumping out to me is like ruby red grapefruit. Really ripe ruby red grapefruit. Uh, ripe pineapple, some mango, papaya. And the orange is definitely showing up in a big way on, on the palate as well. Um, and definitely getting even a little bit of like lime and lemon now, which I was not getting on the nose and the aroma. I gotta revisit that mouthfeel because it is it is perfect for a beer like this. On a hot day like today, it's 90 degrees here in Massachusetts. I don't generally reach for a big beer. Um, you know, the higher end of double IPA territory, triple IPAs, quadruple IPAs just because I want it. I want a goddamn drink in the sun. And uh, you can only have so many of those things. I mean, for me, it's way more than you, but I'm just cautionary tale. Um, this bad boy, though, I, I will put it in, in crush territory for sure. Um, like I said, I crushed the first one earlier at the right temp. Went down no problem. This one's going to it's gonna earn... I'm going to earn its respect. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be slow going for this one at this temp, but it's still very, very drinkable. Again, with a the nautical theme, like, just with the can label art, I want to go to the beach. I want to go out on the boat, right? I want to do those things with this beer. I want to I want to party with it. Weekend at Bernie's, part two, you know? Uh, a little bit of voodoo in there. It's, 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 it's a, it's a going out and doing stuff beer. This is a beer that I've been using quite a bit to, uh, you know, kind of replace the mimosas with my Sunday brunch. I like to do a Sunday brunch. I always kind of replace this with the mimosa, or replace the mimosa with this. Um, boozy, high alcohol, but like the fruitiness of it and stuff like that. I can eat a big fucking obnoxious brunch and uh, crush this bad boy down. No problem whatsoever. And I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that everybody else will have a similar experience. So if you're not the beach going, be out on the boat all day type of folk, reach for this bad boy on Sunday morning when you're doing your brunch. 
or you know this is a great uh it's a great nightcap too because um you know i've i've on occasion kind of gone for a fruitier cocktail uh, later in the evening and i will easily replace that fruity cocktail with this going forward just because it, it checks all those boxes um god damn You can see already with how much I'm crushing this down here as we go. And being in the Lowell in my backyard, neighbors are popping off doing some yard work. God bless them. Keep my property value up. I'll fucking take it. Yeah, the booze is, it's, the, it's not super, 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 super burn. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not hurting the throat as it goes down, but it's, it's there for sure. Like I said, like a, I think of a free cocktail, like a Harvey Wallbanger or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm really, I, I really enjoy this beer. Um, numerous occasions of when, when you can enjoy it. Um, it's a, I think it's a, a once daily drinker. Don't have too many of these, but um, fucking love it. So Trillium Personal Submarine, called out with Evil Twin. Um, if you get the opportunity, trade for it. Um, it's no longer for sale. But this video is more for next year. If you've been afraid of, uh, you know, kind of branching out and going after those beers, the annual collab with Evil Twins always a fucking banger. I don't know what they're going to do next year if they're going to continue the trend. Other half trillion collab, which I did a video of for Nerd Sense, every trillion ever, um, they said that was the last in the series. They did not say this was the last in the series, so. Again, they went 3.3, 6.6, 9.9, 13. Where the hell are they going to go next year? I don't know. But I know with Jeppy and JC and Esther, they're fearless with what they'll put out and uh, sell to people. So I'm really looking forward to what the hell they do next year and continue this mosaic Amarillo Citra theme in the hot bill, which I've become such a fan of because of this because of this series. So if you can't get this one, try to find a beer that has that mosaic Amarillo Amarillo and Citra. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, show the rest of the Nerds uh, uh, video some love, especially the ones that I'm in, because those are the best ones. And, uh, you know, light a goddamn cigar every now and then when you're drinking a beer. Don't be afraid of it, you know? The contrast between, like, a, 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 a you know, a nice, robust, full-bodied cigar and a big, fucking, boozy, quadruple IPA. Get after it, you know?